Welcome Chargeheads. It's a sad day because the TVR may well be sold. I need to spruce her up a bit, clean her ready for Monday because I've got someone who's put a deposit down and he's coming to uh, look at it and take it away. It's running really well. She's, I took her for a drive, I took her for a drive. And what can I say? What am I gonna, what am I gonna miss? Am I gonna miss the noise? I probably am gonna miss the noise. Is this the right decision? Should I be selling her? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> A lot of people think, why the hell did you not EV convert this absolute beautiful TVR? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Reason one is she has got amazing service history. She's working absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with her. Someone else can enjoy this vehicle. And I had it as a bit of a backup, uh, mind you, for some, uh, for some money just in case this conversion uh, uh, cost me more than I thought it was going to be uh, going to, which it has. Um, also, I wanted to race this against the wedgie, the electric TVR. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen now, which is very unfortunate. Um, and, you know, it would be a shame to, uh, to, you know, electrify this lovely sounding five litre V8. You know, I think I'd have a few more purists after me. And at the end of the day, I was trying to get more petrol heads, more car enthusiasts uh, involved in charge heads. And the last thing I want to do is upset any more than I already have. Um, bearing in mind the electric TVR, 18 owners. It had no service history. It was modified, it was broken. This TVR is none of those things. It's a beauty and, oh, look at that. Lady. <laughs> what? Is that? Is I'm gonna miss this car. Chianti Star Mist, that colour. Wow. She's actually been on uh, Johnny Smith's uh, Late Break Show. It's in the Chianti Star Mist. Sorry, Tim, did you just say Chianti Star Mist? I'm sure I met her once at a hotel resort in Thailand. Can't really see that he's wrong there. But, um, but anyway, yeah, so, uh, ranting on. Um, but yeah, so. It's going, you know, we can always find another TVR Griffith to race against the wedgie. I know that the Griffith is very similar performance to the, to Rusty. So I might have had a little play with a similar vehicle and there was not much in it for a very short period of time, you know, within the public speed limits, of course. Um, look at Trikey. Trikey, ready to rumble. <sighs> God damn it, Trikey. Honestly, if I've learned anything, you can have just as much fun with an EV conversion with a 1970s truck. And, you know, a lot of people think I'm bonkers, which I uh, may well be, but um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I, I hope that the TVR wedgie is gonna be just as fun. And everyone keeps asking me, how long? How long until it's ready? I don't know, I really don't know. I'm thinking that Ralph may know, but he just doesn't want to tell me. He doesn't want to over-promise and under-deliver. You know, it's only been like two years or something like that. But but yeah, it's, it's a sad day. But um, Monday is the day that uh, Lee is coming to uh, have a look at the vehicle and uh, hopefully he'll pay me the money, drive it away and enjoy it as much as I have. Maybe I'll get some footage of Monday and uh, watch the griff go off in the distance. What am I done? What am I doing? Let's hope I've made the right decisions. Of course I have. It's charge heads. It's not petrol heads, is it?
See how I feel in a few minutes really, but yeah, at least taking it away. So that's it, no more V8. So the TVR Griff has gone and I mean, it went at about two o'clock. It's now half five and um, am I missing it? Am I going to miss it? I, I don't know. I've had it for long enough that I've kind of, you know, I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, I've had fun in it. You know, every time I drive it, you know, people are like, oh, what's that? And then, so many people don't know what it is. A lot of people think it's a kit car, which is a bit annoying, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, of course I'm going to miss it. I'm gonna miss that car, I've had it eight years, I've only done seven and a half thousand miles in it. So, you know, I'm hoping to do at least like seven and a half thousand miles a year in the wedgie, you know, cause I'm gonna use it regularly. So yes, I'm spending three times the value from the Griff, but I'm gonna be using it seven times more. So, you know, that's a big benefit, you know, it's a lot of money still, but um, by Tesla Model 3 performance and loads of mods and stuff. But, you know, this is a one of one. It's gonna be exciting. Um, that's what it's all about, creating an exciting electric vehicle. Death on a stick, electric widow maker, death sled, electric death sled. You know, this is, you know, to get that feeling. Oh, why are you, you know, spending loads? Of yeah, I'm mad, obviously I'm mad. Um, but it's what I wanna do. You only live once. You know, I'm trying to get more people into electric cars with exciting electric cars. How can a topless um, electric TVR with a Tesla motor not be amazingly exciting? So with the help of Ralph, it's, you know, it's coming along. There's gonna be an update soon. We're nearly at 2000 subscribers as well. So please, you know, share the content. Let's get some more charge heads involved. Anyone that's into modified electric cars, EV conversions, anything a bit crazy electric, that's, you know, that's right up my strata. And this is, you know, charge heads, what it's all about. Um, it's funny because I've put a video on the socials, just a short video on your TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, and Facebook. So if you're on any of those platforms, check out for those short videos because there are a couple that I put up in terms of teasers and updates and stuff. Um, so many negative comments of, you know, you're gonna miss the V8, you're mad. That's like pressing your balls in a vice, stuff like that, and which, <laughs> which is really amusing. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not for everyone. You know, there's always gonna be haters out there, let's be honest, and you know, the electric thing uh, is only a fad, and you know, hydrogen's gonna take over, and the battery's gonna be broken within days and all those other things that is clearly a load of BS. Um, so, so yeah, thank you for coming on this journey. You know, the story hasn't ended. It's a shame that I had to sell the Griff. Um, it wasn't gonna happen. You know, I was gonna have the Griff against the wedge, content around that, uh, but needs must. The budget kind of went out of control a little bit. So, you know, the Griff had to go and it, it probably sped up the decision really, because I was gonna put the Griff against the wedge and then decide which one to sell. but. Ultimately, I've only got one garage and limited driveway space. I thought about moving, but I love where I live. I love my neighbors, my, all my charge head neighbors, uh, you know, representing. Thanks for watching guys. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be an exciting year up until when it's finished because there's so many car events going on at the moment. Uh, if you've got a modified EV or an EV conversion and you want me to come and you know, do some video and show the other charge heads out there, get it, you know, get it promoted, then let me know, chargeheads at gmail.co.uk. If there's anybody looking to buy an electric car, check out chargeheads.co.uk on the forum because my up-to-date spreadsheet's on there with all the new electric cars on there. 
Um, I'm sure I'll do something around used EVs soon because I'm very passionate about that as well. But yeah, back to the story. TVR wedgie build, the electric TVR. We hope, I hope, that Ralph is going to be doing some serious work on that in the next few weeks and we can go and get an update. Um, I did actually have something arrive and I might have purchased something as well, but I'll go into that next time because uh, I need to keep you on tender hooks for the next episode. See you later.